Good morning. My name is V. R. Seshankar Rao, Associate Professor, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering College. Today, I am going to demonstrate N MOSFET characteristics. So, first, uh, I have to do the open terminal, the required entry. I have to type first CSH followed by CSH RC. Home install CSH RC. Then press enter. Then type what you saw. Then wait for the window to open up in the CADMIS software. Now you see a window has opened here, then other menu should appear. So you have here file, tools, options and help. In this you click file, then you are doing the experiment for the first time. So you have to type new, then open your library okay then type the name so i will type the name experiment one and you have to attach to the existing technology library apply here you have gpdk 90 and gpdk 118 we will do our experiments in gpdk 118 then click OK. Then a message will appear. The experiment one successfully attached to the technology library GPDK 118. Okay, then after this, you click file, then new and sell new. And in experiment one library, we will type young MOSFET. So that is the first experiment what we are going to do. Then password. Then a window will appear to draw the circuit diagram in the cadence software. So this window has the menu launch, file, edit, view, create, check, options, window, PBS, and help. And in this you try you, you have to create different instances of the MOSFET and the resistor and the voltage sources. So you click create. Then you click instance. First you have to uh, position the MOSFET. Now we are going to do the young MOSFET characteristics. So browse. Then you select the library GPDK 118. Then you select NMOS. You see here now young MOSFET has come here and that is in the 180k 180 nanometers technology. Okay. Then after this, we have to 
put two resistances, create instance, then you have to use another library that is analog library in that you select a resistance. So this is the resistance. So you, you require two select resistances, one in the output and another in the input. And uh, you can uh, position the resistance either horizontally or vertically. For that, you have to click on the resistance and then do rotate. Then now you see it has become horizontal. Whereas this resistance is in our vertical position. Okay. Now, to draw the MOSFET characteristics, you require the voltage sources and the output as well as the input paths. So, now create, let us create instance voltage source. So VDC, that is the voltage source I have selected. So now you see, now you put uh, two voltage sources and this is at the output and this is at the input. Mm -hmm. okay. Now this resistance also you can make it horizontal like this. Now you have to make the required connections. For that you have to click on create and select wide narrow and make a connection to this narrow and you have to connect, make a connection to this voltage source also and here also you have to connect to this input voltage source and this you have to connect it to the gate of N MOSFET. Now these resistances, uh, you have to give the values, so you click on the resistance then go to properties and uh, this resistance by default has come with uh, 1 kilo ohm, you make it, we make it 10 ohms. So this is 10 ohms and this resistance has come with default 1 kilo ohm, we leave it as it is. And this voltage source. It has, uh, we, we use the value 1.8 volts because we are in GPDK 180. So I will keep it as 1.8. And this one, this uh, is a voltage between gate and source. So I will write it as G, G. Yes. Now here I have to use a ground point. So create instance allow you to be ground. So I will put a ground here. And in N MOSFET, the source has to be connected to the substrate. So I have to make a connection using a thin wire. I think the circuit diagram is complete. Now I have to check and see. There's a provision, then the software checks it whether there are any errors or warnings. If there are no errors or warnings, it automatically saves it. So I this is the check and save point, so I click on this. So there is no error self now, that means the circuit is okay. Suppose I will introduce one error, okay. Uh, 
that is the array modulus. Then you see there are the check coordinates the, in the n MOSFET smart because this loop is not closed. So if there are others, it automatically gives warnings. So let me again connect back with the wire. So now the circuit is complete and it is free of errors. Now let us um, find out the, in the characteristics of this N MOSFET. So we are going to see the output characteristics of this MOSFET at different values of input voltage. So what are the output uh, characteristics, parameters, the voltage between drain and source, VDS and current ID. So these are the output parameters at different values of this gate to source voltage. We have to find out the output characteristics of this N MOSFET. Now let us see this. So for that, you have to go to the launch icon, the press ADDL, then a window like this is going to appear, then you have to press analyze. It takes sometimes it takes time. So this analysis uh, window is used uh, if you have to do the DC analysis or the transit analysis. Now I am going to do the DC analysis. So I will press this radio button DC, then save DC operating point, then component parameter, then select the component. So I will select this component and what is the parameter? DC voltage is a parameter, click OK. And this voltage should vary from the minimum value to the maximum value. What is the minimum value? 0. What is the maximum value? 1.8 volts because I am using 180 nanometers technology. See the supply voltage changes uh, as per the technology. Suppose if you are using the 90 nanometers technology, the supply voltage will be around 0.9 volts. Because I am using TQDK 180, the supply voltage is about 1.8 volts. So that is why starting voltage I put as 0 and the stop voltage I put as 1.8 volts. Okay. So I will press apply, then OK. Next, again let me go here and uh, I have to plot the outputs. So I, then you select outputs to be plotted is going to come, then select on design. So I have to press here because I have to on the y on the x-axis I am going to take the VDS, on the y-axis I am going to take the current. So whenever I have to take uh, the voltage, I have to I have to press at this point. So this is going to select the Net uh, which represents the voltage. Next, I have to take the parameter which is going to come on the y axis that is nothing but the current IDS. So, I will press at this button. So, this is going to be the current. So, let me come back here. Now, variables. So, these are uh, output uh, parameters VDS and the ID at different values of input voltage. So the input, what is the input voltage? VGS. So I have to select that variables and edit. And here I will type VGS and click OK. Yeah. Then I should go to the tools, then I will do the parametric analysis. And here we have the variable, so I click on that. So what is the variable? See, we have two variables, VGS and the temperature. I click on VGS. Then 
uh, range from. So at what range? So this also has I am thinking the one inch nematode stigma is in. I will take zero. Then the output voltage is maximum voltage is one point eight volts and step more. I can sell different steps. So the zero point zero to one point eight. You can go in three steps, four steps, five steps, five steps, or seven steps. You can select. So let me select here some three steps. So I have selected here three steps. Yes. Okay. So now everything is ready. So I will click on this uh, button to get output characteristics. So you see here now the output characteristics are found at three different values. What are three different values? This is uh, at uh, one point eight volts, okay, and this is at ninety millivolts, and this is, this is at another value, okay. So this is uh, the x-axis, the VDS, VDS, and the y-axis represents the so, so I have taken three steps. So this is the value at for VGS is equal to 1.8 volts, and this is the curve for VGS is equal to 0 0.9 volts, and this is the uh, and this is the curve for VGS is equal to 0 volts. So like that you can. You can select the number of steps. So this is how we do the M MOSFET output characteristic. Suppose you want the P MOSFET characteristics, what you will do is uh, you have to select instead of M MOSFET, you have to select the P MOSFET. Then uh, you have to change the polarities of uh, input and output voltage. Then you get the same uh, shape of the curves with the reverse law polarity. So this is the conclusion of experiment number one. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.